This is the Wayne Ayers Podcast. The Wayne Ayers Podcast. Woohoo! Time to wake your ass up for a blessed day. So how you, how's life been? You know, I know you just you know recently left the island. How's life been outside the island? It's been good, I would say. A, a couple of people have recognized me, so it's been kind of funny to interact with that. But but yeah, I mean, it's like it's nice feelings, you know. I'm like happy to be back, but also sad because you know I wish I had stayed like longer in there. So. No, I feel you. Um, do you have? Uh, I know. Um, do you have any like feelings towards any like? Tyler for picking, you know, who? Um, you know, I'm not mad about it because at the end of the day, you know, you're supposed to be in there and like, you know, follow, you know, what you kind of like follow your heart in a sense. But um, for, with Tyler, it was hard to say, like he was very like mellow and just like didn't show that much emotion. So one part of me kind of like just feels like he was just playing safe, if I'm being honest with you. Like, I don't think, I don't think he, he was interested in anyone, if I'm being honest. So you think he's there for like the hundred grand? <laughs> yeah, I definitely, I definitely think so. Or just like from everything else that comes with it. I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like any of the guys were really in there for love, if I'm being honest, because they sure didn't act like it. <laughs> Did you um, watch the show like prior before coming on? I did. I watched season three, but I watched it like right before going in because before that I actually had never watched it. I know about the show, but I have never like watched it. So, so uh, how did you get, like become a part of it? Like, did you do like auditions or like what? Is, what's like the process of getting? On so the show? I actually came across an ad on Instagram, and that's where I like I saw it and I was like, okay, like let's try this. I had seen, I had no, not enough, I had known about the show because Javani went on it and we had like mutual friends. So that's how I knew like about the show. And then when I came across the ad, I was like, oh my God, like this is the show that Javani was on. So, uh, so I just did like the whole like application process. And, uh, and then they reached out to me after like a couple of weeks and the whole thing took maybe like three weeks, something like that. No, that's dope. So, like, how is it, like, like when you get, like, on set, like, what is it like? Like, do you just, like, they had cameras on you, like, right when you, like, just arrive? Or, like, how, is this, how does that even, like, work when you arrive on to, like, the set? Well, the, like, you know, I was expecting there to be, like, big cameras and, like, people following you around and stuff like that. But it's actually not like that. They have, like, hidden cameras, like, all around the villa. So it kind of, it makes it, like, better because it's just you know it's not, it's not like comfortable or anything like you know you're being recorded at all times but it's not like a huge camera like in front of you you know what I mean yeah so like if you're having like a big conversation with somebody like you're like it's kind of hard to be like oh this camera in my face I'm not gonna say this yeah yeah this. yeah exactly okay. yeah no you don't you don't deal with any of that which makes the situation a lot more natural so, like, what happened, like, is there anything, like, I don't know, from, like, the show, like, I they're not showing everything that happened. Is there anything, like, crazy that happened, like, that the audience get, didn't get to see at all? <laughs> like, behind the camera, like, they didn't air or something? Um, I was, I, they, it filmed, like, it seems like they filmed, like, 24 hours, so it's, like. Yeah, no, actually, I feel like there's a lot of things that happened that they didn't show, but, um. oh, man. Go ahead and speak on it. You're not, you're on the, you're know, not on the show. I know, Go ahead and speak trying- on it. I've been trying to I've been trying to avoid it because I'm like I don't want to speak like badly on anyone or anything like that. But uh, honestly, I do feel like since I came in, uh, there was like this girl that just like had it against me, and um, they were actually we actually got in a in an argument or misunderstanding, whatever you want to call it, and. Um, she had been complaining in the dressing room that she had not had enough time to talk to any of the guys. So, you know, I was like, I was trying to be nice. And you know, it was actually when I was having my conversation with Jesse, I was wearing my orange uh, set. I don't know if you remember, but I was having a conversation with Jesse. And then um, 
I was, I had to go to the, to, you know, to the private room where we like speak about our feelings. So I got called there and, um, and as I was walking, I tell, I tell the girl, I was like, Hey babe, go talk to Jesse. Cause you know, I basically like left him by himself and like, she said something and I actually didn't hear her, but she would make such like passive aggressive comments that I thought like she was just kind of like joking. Cause like the way she, she said something, it was kind of like, like, like it was weird, but I didn't hear it. So I just like ignored it and I just kept on walking. And then when I come back, um, Timmy comes up to me in the kitchen and he's like, yo, like what is going on? And I'm like, what do you mean? And he's like, well, with this girl. And I'm like, oh my God. I was like, you noticed? And I was like, I was like, dude, I promise you since I got here, like there's like been so much like tension. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I'm pretty sure she doesn't like me. And, uh, and he was like, yeah, yeah. She said that, um, she said that you were giving her permission to go talk to Jesse. And I was like, I was like, permission. I was like, where the fuck did permission come from? I, if it, I was trying to be nice and like, he was alone. So I was trying to encourage her to go talk to him since he was alone. It was never about permission. And, and like the girl was like coming towards us. And then Timmy was like, oh, oh, like, I guess he knew like something was about to happen. And she comes in and as soon as she comes in, I'm like, I tell her, I'm like, girl, like the comment that I, wait, that I made was not about that at all. Like, I heard that you were complaining that you haven't had time to talk to the guys. I was telling you like, from a friend perspective, like, hey babe, like, you know, like go talk, you know, like, <laughs> and, uh, and she was like, I just, I've never heard of anybody giving me permission to go talk to someone. And I'm like, permission? I'm like, where are you getting that from? It's not about permission. And like, she just like kept going in. And then we just like started like, you know, like kind of like a little back and forth. And then I just, I got overwhelmed. And I'm like, yo, like you're tripping. Cause legit, I was like, where the fuck did this come from? Like I literally came in like such good intentions and she like completely like switch it. So I was like, I was like, you're tripping. And then she got mad that I said that. And then I, I honestly, like it just kept on going back and forth. And I got overwhelmed and I started crying. Cause I mean, I can't, I can't deal with that. You know what I mean? I just, with situations like that, I just can't handle it. I literally started crying. And then I was just like crying at her and telling her, like, I was like, like, what is your problem with me? I was like, seriously, just say it. Like, you don't like me. Just say it. Like, since I got here, you've been making such comments that make me uncomfortable. Like, I don't feel comfortable with you. Like, what, what is the issue? And she was like, I feel nothing for you. I do not care about you. I feel nothing for you. And I was just like, okay, like I had to like walk away. And I think Jesse actually pulled me and took me to the bedroom where then I was like crying to him, expressing to him, like, I don't know what her issue with me was. Cause like, since the moment I came in, she was just giving me attitude. So they didn't show any of that, that I can say. I know, I know. I saw it on your Instagram story that you were talking about it. And people are like, many people are like, you're like, hey, if you interview, please ask for this. Was it Courtney or Deb? Can people think it's one of those two people? It was not Courtney or Deb. That's the funny part. For real? Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, yeah. have, you know, they have to keep it by I'm just gonna, I'm not even going to say it. I'm just going to let people kind of like, I feel like if you watch the episodes now, you can kind of see certain comments being made or like certain like reactions that you can kind of like put two and two together. But... Uh. Yeah, it was not, I was, it was not Courtney or Deb. Deb was actually really nice to me, which you would think like, you know, we would have an issue or something, but like, not at all. Like, no, I, even, I was surprised. I was surprised this girl had an issue with me, honestly. Like, I, I don't know what the issue was, if I'm being honest. Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure we, we ended in good terms, but like after that situation, I was just kind of like, all right, like I'm gonna just keep my distance a little bit because I'm like, I don't want to deal with this shit again. Like... No, personally, I thought it was I thought it was Courtney and uh, people were like, no, it might be Deb. I thought, okay, no, 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 not at all. Courtney, Courtney was like in her own world, honestly. Courtney okay, was so just worried. Courtney was just worried about making out with guys. That's what she wanted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, people about to limit this down now too. There's, I don't know if you've seen online, like people are really like going, like doing their little, the little like. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm sure they'll figure it out. I'm sure they'll figure it out. Like, I'm going to just let the fans I'm gonna just let the fans do their thing. But at least you cut down some names so you know they can, you know, maybe they'll get it now. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, speaking of Jesse, like for me watching the show, I felt like um, he like led you on a little bit. I don't know. Did oh, you he feel did. That way? Okay, cool. He cool. definitely did. He definitely <laughs> did. Because I was like super blindsided, if I'm being honest. I was like the whole time, you know, like I knew when I came in, like I really just wanted to have like a connection and just focus on that. Because I'm like, I don't like, you know, unless I'm like actually feeling like a lot of guys, like for the most part, I like when I'm interested in someone, it's like all my attention just goes to that which maybe it's a bad thing going into Love Island. But, you know, I was very much just like interested in, interested in him. And since he was telling me, you know, that he was interested in me, in my head, I'm just like, oh, okay, like we can both focus on this, you know? And like, well, if somebody were to come in later on, like we will speak if we have like attraction to them or like what is going on. But like, I was big on like honesty. And I told him like, in one of our conversations, I don't, I can't remember if they show it, but I was like literally telling him like, all I ask for you is honesty. I was like, the moment you're feeling somebody more than me, just tell me just so I know where I stand. And that man said, no, you're my number one. Like, yeah, he was, he would tell me that he would have a connection with Deb, but he kept reassuring me that I was like number one on his list, you know, and he even said that if there was a recoupling, he would choose me. So like a part, a part of me was like, oh, okay. Like, like I'm good. I can keep on focusing on him. He'll focus on me. And then it's like the day of the recoupling is like that complete switch. So it's like, like, like it was like actually the night right before the recoupling. That's what it was. And I'm just like, why didn't you like, like, it's not like when you wake up one day and then you're like, you know what? Yeah, I'm actually going to pick this girl. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he had, had to, he had to have been feeling like that for like some time to like, you know, like make that decision. He just wasn't being honest. with me. I think that's what it was. I also feel like me personally, I feel like people will be scheming, like, because it's, it's is a hundred grand on state. I feel like some people, like, what do you think the percentage of people actually go to Love Island to, like, find love? Honestly, I'm gonna, I feel so out of place because I feel like I was the only one actually looking for a connection. And that's why I feel like, you know, the, the way I acted was, like, actually on my feelings. You know what I mean? I wasn't thinking of, like, let me find somebody that I can stay in here with or, like, who's the safest. You know, like, people would tell me, like, oh, like, the safest thing for you was to couple up with Felipe. Cause he was like very much like interested in you, but I'm like, you know, like, that's not like, that's not what my emotions were. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't trying to go in there to like find the safest person and just make it out through the show. You know, I was really interested in making a connection. And I thought that the people were, they were going to be in there. They were going to be interested in making connections too. But you know, I'm, I don't know. I just feel like none of the guys in there really are interested in, in making anything like that. At least that's the way that like I sensed it. Just like like the way they acted and stuff like that. Like I'm, I would say maybe like twenty percent of the guys that go on, on Love Island maybe are interested in making a connection, but definitely I don't think I don't think the rest are. I know like Love Island, they bring they sometimes they bring back people. Like, would you be interested in coming back like later on in the season? Oh my god, reason? yes, I would. I would love to. I mean, I was. I mean, I was kind of mad because I feel like even if Tyler were to pick me. I probably would have tried to like write it out with Tyler and see where that goes. But I feel like I would have still been interested in like getting to know others. Cause I don't feel like Tyler and I, and I kind of like hit that like spark, like I want it, you know what I mean? So I was, yeah. that's why I wasn't even like, I wasn't mad at him making that decision. Cause I was like, okay, like he's trusting his feelings. You know, if I didn't feel it, I'm sure he didn't feel it. But, um, but yeah, no, oh my God, I, I will definitely go back for sure. Especially if there's some, especially if there's some fine tatted men in there. Oh my gosh, yes, I would totally get in there. Would you do anything different than you did the first time, or would you like pursue uh, somebody that you want? Was there anybody that you wanted to pursue that you didn't? Honestly, I don't know if you can hear my dog snoring, but <laughs> he's like snoring in the background. <laughs> um, I don't honestly, you know, at first when I was in, I was actually interested in Isaiah because I had kind of like that like physical attraction. But after a couple conversations with him, I felt like we didn't really match on like mental level. Um, I feel like he was lacking a little bit of a, like emotional maturity. And I mean, it just comes from him like being young and probably not having like experimented with like many relationships, which, you know, it's understandable. So in my head, I was just like, ah, oh, like, I don't know if I want to get involved into this. You know, I'm looking for somebody like, that knows more of what he wants. And he kind of like gave me like a little bit of like an indecisive vibe. So Jesse was the first one to actually say, like, I'm interested in you. Like, I want to get to know you. I think you're beautiful. You're so smart. Like, I feel like I can learn a lot from you, like, intellectually. So, you know, like, I was like, oh, my God. Like, yes. Like, it was funny because, like, he was the first one that I was interested in. But he made a comment of, like, oh, I, I like blocks. 
So I kind of like stepped away because I was like, oh shit, okay, I'm out of it. But he was like my main interest. And then it was like after a conversation in the bathroom, but we were like showering that I made a comment like right before I was supposed to do uh, my, my picking uh, that I was like, well, I would have picked you, but you only like blondes. And he was like, no, don't get it twisted. Like, I, I do want to get to know you. So I was like, I was like, motherfucker, why didn't you tell me this before? And uh, and it was like literally the night that I had to pick. That was like my first like deep conversation with him. And just based on that conversation, I made my decision. So, oh, yeah. I mean, it was, it was, I mean, it was like, kind of like, like, I guess it was at that point, it just felt like perfect. But other than that, I feel like anybody else, like I, I really didn't feel that like spark or like that instant connection that I was like looking for. So have you like been watching the show since like you've been left, uh, since you left? I actually haven't watched it. I didn't even watch the one where I got like dumped. Uh, I was like, honestly, I got back and I was just like, kind of like getting back into like my routine and like. I've been actually sleeping a lot just because I'm like catching up on like rest. But um, but no, I haven't watched it. I have to like, I have to like uh watch it. I'll probably like binge watch it. Just I'm not gonna be able to just wait and see what happens. I'm gonna wait until there's a couple episodes out and just like binge it. Are you gonna do a TikTok about like I know people will be doing like TikToks of their certain teams? Are you gonna do like a TikTok of a certain team that you were in in the show or no? Uh, I mean, I don't know, honestly. I, like, suck at making TikToks. I need to, like, I feel like I need to get more into, like, the social media stuff. But um, I don't know yet. I mean, I feel like I'm still kind of, like, trying to figure out what it is that I'm going to do, to be honest. What's uh, what's something that you dislike and like about the show? So, let me think. I mean, what I like about the show is kind of like, you know, it, it, they definitely do give you the freedom to like, you know, a lot of people think it's scripted, but it isn't like, almost, like all the decisions that you make in there are like your own. You know what I mean? Like you can, you can speak to producers and, and you know, you can kind of like give them feedback on how you're feeling and stuff like that. But for the, like, for the most part of the whole show, like they never tell you like, Hey, you got to do this. So it's like good to know that like, those decisions that you made are actually like yours, you know? So I definitely like that. Um, something I don't like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, I'm hearing my dog so bad. <laughs> <laughs> something I don't like, uh, I don't know, honestly. I don't think there's anything that I didn't like about the show. No, that's dope. That's good to hear. Mm-hmm. Oh, what was like, uh, what was it once that? Oh, I know like when you're around, around a bunch of people, I feel like me, like if you go camping, you find out like who's the cleanest and who's the dirtiest person. Like who was the cleanest and dirtiest person on the show? Oh my gosh. You know, I feel like I wasn't like there enough to see who was like the dirtiest. I mean, I want to say the cleanest. I would say me just because I feel like I'm very, very clean. And I think I just like, I liked having my space like cleared. But for the most part, they do kind of, like, push you to, like, be organized just because, of course, they don't want the village to look messy. Um, I mean, I'm not going to say dirtiest. I'm going to say messiest out of the girls was definitely Sydney. Sydney, like, just had her, all her stuff just, like, out, like, things on the floor. She even had, like, a Sonic card, like, a gift card in her makeup bag and, like, her, her vaccination card in her makeup ba- bag. And we're like, girl, like, your vaccination card is something important. Like, why is it in your makeup bag? And it was like stuck to like other things. So definitely on the messy part, I would say Sydney for sure. I know, I know like fans love your tattoos. I want to know if there's like a, is there a tattoo that you really want to get that you haven't got yet? I know like everybody's like, yo, hi, can you kick the girl with the tattoos? Da, 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 I, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I know, right? Dude, they did me so, they did me so dirty. Um, so I actually have to finish my leg sleeve. I already have planned out what I'm going to get. It's just a matter of like going and getting it. Um, but I'm thinking of getting a uh, Medusa on my shin part. Ooh. And it's going to be like, like the face, uh, like a big face. And then just like, kind of like the snakes around. And I want that to cover like my whole chin. And um, then I'm going to get probably like a flower on my knee. And then in the back, in the back of my, of my leg, I'm gonna do um, like on the on the calf part. I'm gonna do a uh, hamsa and a lotus flower. So I think that's what I have planned. Ooh, okay, that's nice. That's nice. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, if you could be like a part of another like reality TV show, like which TV show would you want to be a part of? Kinda you know, it's funny. It's funny because I really don't watch that much reality TV. So it's like, it's hard for me to even know which shows are out there. But, um, you know, it's funny because I was getting casted for Too Hot to Handle. And I actually ended up like not continuing with the process because I did not know that it was Too Hot to Handle because they give you like another name. And I was like trying to like research the show and I was like, this is so you weird. Like this show has no background. Like, <laughs> I'm like, am I going to get trapped? Like, what is this going on? So I was just like, I didn't continue with the process. And then later on, I'm like, what the fuck? It was for too hot to handle. Are you kidding me? But um, I don't know if I wish to do a show like that. Those are kind of messy too. So <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like anything where I'm able to like actually show myself as I am, like I'll be interested in showing. Like even something like the challenge, I know that's like with CBS, but I feel like that'll be something like super cool to do. Like I'm like, I feel like I'm very down to like anything and I'm very adventurous. So anything that just gives me like that adrenaline rush, I'm like, okay, down, let's go. <laughs> so I feel <laughs> no, like I would definitely be down to do that. I know the challenge scene. I don't know about that one. Challenge scene is rough, yo. <laughs> I know it's kind of scary, but that's what I'm saying. It's kind of like, if you go through that, it's like, damn, you're tough. No. Oh, be- I know I, this is like off topic, everything. I know like before you were on the show, you had some controversy last year. <laughs> <laughs> I know you had some controversy. <laughs> like, um, do you still get hate? Oh, do you still get yes. hate from my like, Chase Stokes? <laughs> or- <laughs> this fucking day. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck I did wrong. I was really just drunk in a club. Motherfucker comes up to me and starts making out with me. I know exactly if those girls were in the exact position as I was in, they wouldn't have stopped and be like, oh my God, wait, are you still with Madeline? Like, no. You know what I mean? Like, the motherfucker is coming at you. You don't even know how to act, especially if I'm drunk too. Like, I'm like, okay. Like, in my head, I wasn't even thinking, oh my God, Chase Stokes. I was thinking, oh my God, John B. You know what I mean? Like, I was like thinking of like the freaking, like the character, not even the actor. Um, and, uh, and then I'm like, I wake up and I'm like, oh, fuck, like I did that. And uh, and then I'm getting all these like, it was probably a bunch of like 13 year olds just commenting, telling me like, how dare you? You broke them up. Home were, record. Like all this shit. And I'm, just, like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I don't know. It was crazy. They were like commenting on like old pictures, like going and finding things like that doesn't look like Chase Stokes. That, that anything like related to Chase and I'm just like oh my god I'm like what is going on with this kid and I'm like somebody take their phone away like do you this is have, crazy do you ever just reach out to them like yo tell your fans to stop yo because it's not what it is <laughs> no honestly I like stopped caring I was just like like I saw it and I'm like I just understood like these people really don't know what's it about you know what I mean like they're they're assuming and I was just like I'm gonna say I wasn't gonna say anything but I was like you know what nobody's saying anything so I feel like I should just explain myself just to put it out there, like, to people understand, like, it's not what they think it was. And, um, and I mean, it kind of, like, it kind of stopped after it. But I actually, when I came back from Love Island, I did see a couple of comments, people saying something about Chase. I'm like, here we go again. <laughs> like, I'm like, and they, someone even made an article saying, who's Valerie back in her, uh, her relationship to Chase Stokes? I'm like, that happened months ago. I'm like, why is that still relevant? Like, I already know that story is going to follow me for the rest of my life. Like, yeah, no, actually, you know what I know something funny? I went out one time to a strip club and the stripper recognized me. I was like, I was like, wow, like I really made it that deep to, for a stripper to recognize you. The stripper literally stopped dancing. She looked at me, she was like, wait, weren't you the girl that made out with Chase Toast? I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, yeah, it's time for me to go now. <laughs> um I know. <laughs> All right, back to the um, back to the. I just want to know, kind of like, oh, she's talking about Love Island. They probably don't give her eight now because she's on Love Island on TV. <laughs> but uh, back I to see. the <laughs> back to the villa. Oh, uh, was it? What's something like people didn't get to know about you? Like when, like, see you on the show? Mm. I don't know. Honestly, I feel like I was like kind of like showed like in a good way. To be honest, I don't feel like, like, I feel like they, like, from what they showed, you can kind of, like, get a little, like, a, a lot, actually, out of my personality. You know what I mean? So I don't think, um, like, I sh- they showed, like, all my moments, you know, when I woke up in the morning, you know, and, like, getting ready, doing my makeup, you know, all dressed up, and then, you know, 
having like cute conversations and then having like, you know, like, um, you know, strong conversation. Maybe they didn't show the argument. So definitely didn't show that. But I guess it's good that they didn't see me like crying that bad. Cause that night I was crying. Like I woke up the next morning and I looked like a frog. My eyes were so puffy. It was just terrible. It was just terrible. But I think like that was like the only part that they didn't get to show. Um, I feel like if they had shown that part, maybe fans would have felt a little bit different towards that girl because of the way she treated me. And maybe that's kind of like why, you know, they decided not to like show that because I know this show doesn't really like to promote like that type of like bullying or situations, you know? Yeah. Uh, I know they're, they're very strict on that and like everybody handled the situation pretty well. Like they all like spoke to me and made sure that I was okay. And they spoke to her too and like addressed like, this is not what we want. Like girls shouldn't be treating girls this way. So, um, so it was handled properly, I would say, but I don't know. I think, I think, I think, yeah, I feel like I, I you could kind of like get a sense of who I am just based on the clips. Yeah. Is there somebody that you're rooting for? Like the couple wise, like, is there like a couple you're rooting for? Like, or no? Honestly, right now, I'm just kind of like, I don't, I don't, I don't think anybody is really established if I'm being honest. Like, I think maybe Sydney and Isaiah are the only ones that are actually like into each other, but they're like toxic as hell. So I don't know. I don't really know where that would go on. It's like, maybe, yeah, like they look good together, but I don't know if that's a healthy relationship. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I love Maddie. So I want to watch her, you know, and like, I would like her to like, like find love. Cause I know, you know, she, from what I sense from her, she was kind of like similar to me and like personality wise. Uh, she was very mature. So definitely rooting for her. And I mean, I guess, yeah, my girl, Sydney, I just hope she figures out what she got going on. Cause I know she's like in the love triangle right now. So. Uh, what's like, so what, what are you like, is there any like things that you want to like do? Like what, what do you see yourself in like the next like year or so doing? Um, honestly, I don't know. I think, you know, that's kind of like part of what I'm still figuring out. Definitely. I feel like, um, just because of like like my presence now, it's like I definitely want to use like social media to like influence others and kind of like speak on on matters that you know like I I like to speak on that I actually like usually do on like a normal basis, but just kind of like maybe post myself like having like a podcast or like talking to people about you know things like mental health or like sexual awareness or just like kind of like girl talk stuff like that like things that like people you know like like touchy subjects in a sense and just kind of like you know me like spread my perspective on things and maybe like help other women that I have been to like through similar situations that I have been so kind of like by that just like I don't know hoping to like spread more and more confidence in women you know how to like own up to themselves and just be themselves and, and like I don't know maybe just like an, an empowering movement I would say something like that no you should definitely start that you should start that asap honestly like start that next week <laughs> i know i know i think i've been i've been slacking i've been like relaxing too much i haven't even responded to like my messages people like sent me saying like congrats and all that and i'm like i feel like such a shitty person right now because i'm like i feel like i should be like responding but it's just like after you don't have your phone for so long it's like it's kind of crazy once you have it again you're like oh i forgot how to even use this thing like i was like i'm kind of somebody take my phone away <laughs> well i appreciate your time valerie i wish the best for you i hope i hope you come back on the season that would be nice to see hope that i hope you return somehow but no i, I know just you. you just gotta tell your fans to blow up the page and just tell them to bring valerie back that's it yeah, yeah that's we, all, we all stick together maybe we can make it happen right <laughs> yeah they get like a hundred thousand comments with that like valerie back you have to valerie back valerie back yeah. right right <laughs> Well, they, should, they should make a poll actually they should make a poll on the voting app and say do you want to see valerie again and see what people say because if they say yes then that's proof right there